Hello, bonjour, oui oui. Welcome to another Disneyland Paris vlog series. Two. Second time. Second time, yeah. So yeah. we're off, we're at Bristol Airport. So let's get to Paris. Deja vu. Yeah. Back, back, back again. Back, back, back again. Where? It is weird being back, but the advantage is we're not taking any big cases, so we don't have to check anything in. No, we've just got our little hand luggage. And we can then go straight through to departures. Yeah. And hopefully our flight's on time. Is it out there? It does not say. Mm, yeah, it does. Yes. Where is it? Uh, Paris, CDU. Charles de Gaulle, 1935. Well, hopefully, we're not delayed or anything like that because I just want to get there. there do no, 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 no bag drop, just straight through security into I mean, there's not departures. Really anyway. No, it's quite quiet actually. Yeah. Quieter than what it was when we came last time. So, yeah. right, security it is. Here we go. Departure time. <laughs> Let's do these. So we have made it through security. Just someone got bag searched because of the. So there was nothing wrong with my bag. Right, I'm cutting him of off before bag. he starts to rant again. It's just the size of my bag. My my clear bag was too big. But hey, we're in duty free. What? Do we need anything from Duty Free? I might need to look at the sunglasses because I forgot my sunglasses. I might need to look for sunglasses because I forgot my sunglasses. We don't need to look at perfumes or aftershaves because we already know it's cheaper online. But I'm in a bit of a predicament with regards to sunglasses. So, hmm, what do I do? No sunglasses. No sunglasses, which means I'm going to go blind, but we are going to go and grab something to eat. Where? I'm not sure. Any ideas, Jeff? Burger King. Burger King. They have got a Frankie and Ben's. Are they? Yeah. Yeah. They got a round here. Well, they have got a Frankie and Ben's. I think we kind of walked through it because it was closed. Yeah, lots of stuff to take because we were It was quite early morning, so there might be a few more things open. Take a look. Um, we got food. Yeah. We went for a Burger King. Yeah. Can't go wrong with a Burger King. I got my chips. Although there are not many chips. For my burger. Bacon, cheeseburger, extra large, three star cokes, mayo, ketchup. There's a trend when it comes to us eating food. What? It tends to be of the burger. We do like the burger. Fast food type. Yeah. Quick and easy, but yeah, time to eat a chip. Roof terrace. Watch the plane come in. Yeah, wow. This is funky. Hey, it feels a bit warmer. Well, we couldn't come out here last time. Couldn't we? come out here last time, it was early in the morning. There you go, you come in. A little one. Yeah, there you go. But it's far too cold. Fresh air, that's good. Yeah, far too cold. In we go. Push, Joe. Yeah, then push. <laughs> no. Our gate's been called, we're going to gate 11, and hopefully we'll get on the flight pretty quick. We have got speedy boarding, <laughs> yeah. so hopefully we won't have to wait around too much. Yeah, Just got to find the gate now. Get on, get the bags up, 
sitting Yeah, I want a space for my bag. There's nothing worse than getting on the plane and then realising that your cabin bag has to go like halfway down the other end of the plane. So, let's find gate 11. Going on a plane. To Paris. Joe's a little excited as always. Uh, yeah, he's eaten. I've eaten. I'm not hungry anymore. I'm always very hungry. Anymore. Yeah. Didn't manage to get any sunglasses though. No. Oh well. I'll go blind. Nearly there. Say hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. It's starting to rain. It's starting to. I was like, hurry up, hurry up, give me a good one. I know. Oh, it's windy. We've arrived! We are here. Paris. So that was pretty straightforward actually. Very easy. So we just need to get a taxi now. And then get to our hotel. Do you need the bathroom? Joe's going to the bathroom. Play my schnoz. Oh, there's. We made it. We're here, we're here, we're here, we're here. We are back in Disney. I do love Newport Bay. Newport Bay, yeah. yes. Now, we're not staying at Newport Bay. No. And we are not staying at the Art of Marvel, no. unfortunately. We are staying at the Ibis. Not the budget. The Marne Le Valle. Yeah, it's like Val the, Europe one. the medium sort of Ibis. Yeah. But we got a taxi from the airport to Art of Marvel because we wanted to go to Disney Village. Maybe, if anything's still open, grab a bite to eat. It might, stuff might be closed, we're not quite sure. Yeah, I mean, it is three minutes past 11. Yeah. So we're then going to get the RER over to Valley Europe. It's just one stop away. And then get to the Ibis. We'll um, to bed. And then go to bed. Room tour first, though. No. And it's... Joe's on about Cafe Mickey. Um, it's not open, and I don't think it's going to be opening because it's being part of the refurb that they announced. Oh, it's dead. Oh, look, Lego stores also closed down. Um, Rainforest Cafe. We do need to try and eat in there. We didn't get to eat in there last time. Lego closed forever. Oh, the Starbucks is open now. That was um, being yeah, refurbed. Yeah, they were. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was being refurbed, and literally, I was like, it's open. The door's refurbed. Open the doors. And then, literally, 
There's just some builders it's like <laughs> doing something now. Like, oh. Yeah. It's quite cool though. I thought it might have been a little bit, um, not that I thought it was going to be Christmassy, but it's, I thought I'd notice it more because it's not Christmassy, but actually, you've got all the 30th signs. Oh, look at that. It's so we've made it through Disney Village. Alive. Alive. It started getting busy towards like the end because I think the parks have just started shut. coming yeah. out. So we're going to head to get the train now over to Valley Europe and then get to the hotel. But we were just looking at Tower of Terror. Tower of Terror. Look at that. Oh, we'll be riding that soon. But yeah, let's uh, let's get to the hotel. Let's check in. So we've arrived at the hotel, finally. We are staying at the Marlinval Lee in the Valley Europe, the Ibis. Um, there are two ibises and it can be quite confusing. This is the kind of standard ibis and then just around the corner is the entrance to the ibis budget. So let's uh, check in. And we're checked in. We've made it to the room. We're here. Finally. It is, just checking the time. 10 past 12 so it's quite late but hey it is what it is we are staying at the ibis marin le valley val de europe so val de europe um it's a cozy room but for what we're here for it's perfect for what we need Bear in mind, we're going to be in the parks most of the day and the parks are open later. So we'll be at the parks or at least in Disney Village later into the evening. Um, so Joe is here, by the way. There's Joe. Tired. Joe's tired. So what we thought we'd quickly do, because we haven't unpacked yet, we still need to unpack, um, is give you a quick room tour. It's not a big room. It's cozy. So a room tour shouldn't take that long. So if imagine I've just come through the door, I'm going to turn you around so you can see the room. There's your room. It's quite small. That's it. This is literally, you walk in and it's your room. But this is what you get, cheap and cheerful. Cheap and cheerful. But it, 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 it has everything you need. So, nice double bed. They are comfy. Funky artwork on the wall. I like that. That's quite funky. Very colourful. TV. Um, there is only one English channel, which is BBC World News. So unless you speak French or German, I think there was a German channel. Um, yeah. But hey, that's fine. Um, you have a little desk area. You have a telephone, just in case you need to make any important calls. Um, I'm guessing this is like a seating area. This is funky. So this is like a, like an extension need. But you have got some USB ports on there, which are handy. Nice lights. You've got some storage areas here. A little place to hang your clothes. There's a few hangers, extra pillows. There, come in handy. Got your window. The window is, it does open. It's very, very easy access outside. Yeah, I mean, you can easily just run and jump. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you could, like, this is the massive window. There's yeah, nothing if, stopping if you. If you were ever contemplating life. If you had kids, if you, if you had kids, don't get scared. Harsh statement. There could be a lot of people watching this who have children. Exactly. If you had children, uh, well, yeah. I wouldn't I like, like this. If you had children, you might want to consider jumping. <laughs> well, you might. Yeah, you never know. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you think, if you had so a child, thing, you could climb on this, you could climb on that. There's a stool you could climb on. And if you had these windows open, then 
yeah it, just be careful. you've got to be careful um obviously you can't see anything the rer line literally runs right along there i'm um, glad that didn't run through the night otherwise that could be quite noisy it's but, once the windows are shut you can't really hear it but on a, a warm day that's quite handy there is air con there is air con so but hey um so yeah it's it's good um there is also a bathroom is that a room or is it's it a bath capsule it's like a capsule a little cubicle um so i'll show you the bathroom so if you imagine here's the bed this is the door to the cubicle that is the bathroom and it's very very bright very bright so yeah i mean you have a shower relatively good size toilet sink little area if you want to put your bits and bobs mirror hi bobs and bits. Eh? bobs and bits, bobs and bits not bits and bobs um towels bobs bits. <laughs> towels are okay towel toucher. towel toucher it's relatively if i close the door it is still quite spacious i mean there's still plenty of room, but it's very, very bright. Very, very bright. Um, so yeah. Do you know what it makes the room seem quite dim? Because it's coming, coming from in there, because it's so bright. Yeah. But yeah, so that is, so that's the room tour done. Time to unpack and then get to bed so we can get up in the morning and get to the parks. So it's now the next morning, the sun is shining, slept quite well. Joan, did you sleep well? Um, I got a bit hot. So, a bit up and down. A up and down. Um, oh, you can hear the RER going past. Um, yeah, that was, that was fine, comfy bed. Um, I did use a second pillow just for a bit more support. Um, but it is currently 8.30. Um, so we are up. I can give you a bit of a look at the view from outside now that the sun is up. It is not, you know, anything picturesque, but as I was saying, that's where the RER train comes across. So couldn't hear it really during the night. That was a good thing. Um, so yeah, this whole building is linked with the IBIS budget as well. So although they seem like they're two different hotels, they're technically all in the same building. But yeah, that's our view. It's all good. So yeah, that's the view. Joe's here now. Um, so the plan is we are heading over to Disneyland Park. Our first full day in the parks. I'm excited. All things 30th. But if you want to see what we get up to, then you need to subscribe. Yeah. Click the like button. Yes, click the like button. Because you'll then get to see more of our videos. And yeah, if you want to see it next Sunday at 4 p.m., see what we get up to at Disneyland Park. But for now, it's adios for me. Cheerio. Bye. Bye.